to practice exercising in order to make sequences of songs without having gone through the necessary life experiences because you can also do it from your life experience. However, given the wide variety of songs out there, you'll need to do so through exercises. And the way to do this is that say you are skipping a rope. Every skip you make a move, say, on the game, board game you are playing instead of a, a stroke to mark how many times you have skipped the rope. And in, in this way, when you make a skip upon the rope, instead of, say, in the beginner's English books, say, for example, uh, stepping stones from word to word or building a, a bridge from word to word to make a sentence. Instead of that, you want to be going backwards. And so when, when you make a skip on the rope and, and you move your, your piece on whichever board game you are playing and that goes forward, then you skip over that move, take another skip, and eventually when you get to a move on your board game where you are now in a backwards movement, you can count that as a strike on your um, tally that you have made a skip. And once you have, have done this, you will see that your sense of empathy per your rhythm is going to see you make a contribution from each pebble you take step backwards into putting together into a sequential row.